Does slot machine strategy really work and exist? The in-depth answer might surprise you. Welcome back, everybody, to the Cowboy Slot Channel, where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when the next video comes out. As a slot tech myself, and having done this channel for a couple years now, I oftentimes hear people say things like, there is no strategy to winning at slot machines. Now, while most people might agree with that right away, I'm going to give you the in-depth explanation and kind of some aha moments to really make you think. This video is all about helping you to understand that yes, there actually is a slot strategy and why I teach what I teach here on this channel. I'll break this video down into several bullet points and along the way, you'll be able to connect the dots to see just exactly what is proper slot strategy. All of these points are very important, so please be sure to watch till the very end. Point number one, players go to the casino to play slots, but the casino is there to play you. As a gambler, you cannot help but to have a certain mentality a certain focus on just the game in front of you. You get tunnel vision. Players will only focus on that game in front of them and completely ignore and forget about the bigger psychological game that the casino is actually playing against you every time that you visit. You don't win because you play slots, you win because you stop. The game that the casino is playing is how long can they get you to stay there. The longer that you play slots, no matter what your bet level is, the longer you play, the more likely you are to lose. The odds are not in your favor in the long term. Even on slot machines that have the highest possible payback percentage, the best possible RTP, every single slot machine, the casino will always have the edge. The casino knows this. The casino understands that there are going to be players that come in and win big and they're gonna make a lot of money, but the game that they play is to see how long they can get you to stay at that property. This is actually a real metric that is used inside of the casino industry. It actually has a term, it is called player holdability. How long can we get those butts to stay in the chair? This is why that if you are a high roller or maybe you've just won a big jackpot, you're gonna be greeted by smiling faces. You might even be presented with a big novelty check. You're gonna be offered a fancy dinner, nice rooms, spa credits, anything like that. The casino knows that you will not be able to help yourself, that greed will eventually take over, and that rush and that feeling to get more is going to take hold of you. They're gonna get their money back. Their game is to get you to stay so that they can get their money back. The machines don't need to be adjusted for them to make this happen. This is a natural occurrence in human psychology. They're playing on that factor. They don't need to mess with the machine settings. They just need to mess with you. Point number two, no two slot games are created equally. I I have been in the gaming industry for many years. I've attended many gaming conferences. I know a lot of game designers personally. This right here is the biggest thing that players do not realize and do not understand. Every single slot game that has ever been designed is designed for a specific player and a specific situation. This is actually documented when the game is created. And this information is presented to casinos so that they can make the determination of how to order the games and what games are right for their floor. Problem is, is the casino doesn't advertise this and they don't post it anywhere. They aren't required to. And all of this data that they have is data that they use for purchasing and that they use for their decisions. They're not required to present it to you. I have had a lot of conversations with game developers, a lot of meetings at conferences, Conferences, and these are just some of the things that they say, and this is some of the things that is in the information that they provide to the casinos. They will say and document things such as, this game right here, we designed this game specifically to target low budget players. This game over here, we designed for those high risk players, those players that really love a thrill and really love a risk. This game was specifically designed to extend a player's time at the casino. And here's a real kicker. We designed this specific game to pay out more jackpots frequently over time. What they tell the casinos is that, yeah, you might not make as much money off of this game, but what's gonna happen is players are gonna play this game, they're gonna get a jackpot, they're gonna get excited, 
And what are they going to do? They're going to take that money and they're going to go play all those other games where you as the casino can make your money back. This is a real thing. This is how games are designed. So no, not all slot machines are created equal. But what happens when the casino orders all of those games and those games arrive at the casino? All of those games get spread out everywhere. The casino is not going to place games in specific sections based on that criteria. Right here, this is the biggest piece of information that nobody outside of the gaming industry even realizes is a real thing. So whenever I do lists or recommendations on games that I think are right for certain players, this is a big metric that I'm basing it on. Because this information is not available to the public and gamblers truly don't realize just how deep down this rabbit hole actually goes. A lot of players just think that every single slot machine is the same or they try to base it on another thing like payback percentage or RTP. This has nothing to do with RTP or payback percentage. It is entirely how the game is designed. Even if you knew the payback percentage or RTP of every single slot game that you sat at, the casino knows that that doesn't make a difference. The casino understands how RTP and payback percentage actually work. The casino already knows that that payback percentage and RTP is over the long term and has nothing to do with individual players or individual sessions. If you as a player have a focus on payback percentage or if that is the number one thing that comes out of your mouth when you're trying to figure out about slot machines basically what that is is you're distracted you're distracted from the thing that is actually more important and you're distracted from the thing that can actually help you to become a better slots player and you're distracted from what you actually have control over so in terms of slot strategy focusing on how the game is designed and really understanding what that game is designed for is going to be a key to success. I have done tons of videos on all kinds of various games and just exactly this, what we're talking about now. So please be sure if you're new here, check out the video library. There are tons of videos. If you need a bullet pointed guide or if you're more of a reader, check out myslotguide.com. This website is gonna have a lot of resources to help you out. Bullet point number three is magical tactics. Unfortunately, we live in a world today where people want the easiest path. People want quick and easy answers. How do I win at slot machine? They wanna hear the simple simplest answer, the path of least resistance. This is why myths are so easily digestible and more widely accepted. This is also why that there is a whole market out there of magical slot tips to buy because people know that gamblers are going to fall for it. Gamblers want an easy way out. So when people first think of slot strategy, they always think of these magical solutions, but that's not the case and that's not what true slot strategy is. If anything, all of the magic solutions that are out there are really just distraction away from what a real slot strategy actually is. Stop and think about this for a moment. If winning at slots was truly as easy as just put your player's card in, take your player's card out, or don't play with it at all. Hit the button really fast to change up your timing. You gotta go at 5 a.m. after a holiday because that's when the machines are loose. You gotta turn the volume all the way up. If stuff like that was honestly true, not only would you not be the only one to know about it, but the casino would have lines of people, lines of desperate people clamoring to come in and do all of these things because they know that if they do those things that they're gonna win. It doesn't work like that and that's not what slot strategy is. If your mind and your judgment is thinking of things like that, then basically you are once again distracted from doing proper slot strategy. All slot machines are is a pretty calculator doing a robotic task every millisecond. They have no feelings, they have no compassion, they don't need to be changed and there's nothing that the machine does to say pay out X number of players because we've had X number of losers. I'm going to give you a quote and I really want you to remember it hard. Nothing you can do as a player can change the machine, but how you approach playing slots can change everything. Slots are always going to have the house edge. You are not going to win every single time. You're going to have to learn to cope with that fact and mitigate your losses properly. Slot strategy is not guaranteeing a win. Slot strategy is learning how to lessen your losses and pick the machine that's based on its design proper for your budget and your situation. Remember the previous point, all games are designed for a specific purpose and a specific type of player. Learning when to walk away and learning when exactly is the right time to try again. Important point number four, gamblers fail to adapt. Proper slot strategy is knowing when to adapt your machine picks based on the situation that you're in. I'll give you an example. My favorite game in the world is pinball, usually $10 denomination or higher. Pinball is a fantastic game to play and I've gotten so many jackpots from it. But if I walk into the casino and I have a lower budget, I'm not gonna play pinball. As much of a great game as it is and as much as I love the game, I know that for that particular situation, I don't have the budget to sustain a proper 
full session on that game. As much as I dislike the Link style games, as high in volatility as they are, as big of a risk that they are, I really don't like those games. However, if I've just won a big jackpot or maybe I have a bigger budget than normal, I might sit down to try it with a hard stopping point. As much as I dislike the game, I can afford to take the risk, but I also know that because of the design of the game that I have to set that hard stopping point. Before I sit down to play it, I've already accounted for all of that. Now let's say I go into the casino, I'm playing, and maybe I'm down to my last $20. I might play video poker or I might go play a game that is designed for a lower budget like that, such as Wealth of Dynasty. This right here is what slot strategy really is. This is what you should be doing as a player every single time that you visit a casino. There are tons of variables in the world of slots and every time you go to the casino, you have to account for what is your situation that you're currently in. And you're gonna have to adapt to that. You cannot just pick a slot game based on it being good or not. You have to account for a lot of factors. How much do you have to play with? How long are you gonna be there? Is your goal to get a jackpot or is your goal to build up? Or is your goal to just have fun and be entertained? Before you pick any slot machine, these are the questions that you have to ask yourself. Most players don't do this and they get so wrapped up in other things like RTP or where the machine is on the floor. None of that is slot strategy. Doing this is what proper slot strategy is. Bottom line is yes, slot strategy does exist, but it is not in the capacity that people think it is. It's not a magic cure-all and it's not a straightforward answer. It is a very dynamic process that helps you mitigate and choose over time. All of the tips and steps and recommendations here on Cowboy Slots are based on these factors, factors that you as the player have control over. Teaching you how to recognize all these things and giving you recommendations based on the math behind the games and what situations that those games would be best for. Clearing your mind and focusing on the factors at hand that are the real factors and not just myths, those are going to make you a better slot player. So always remember that slot strategy is not about controlling the machine, but it's about controlling yourself. Give this video a like. Don't forget to check out the video library. A subscribe would be nice and I'll see you on the next. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.